scripted world, and we'll we'll talk about all, all this. Right, you know? Here we oh, go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get into things. stuff now. So I'm I'm kicking things off. Welcome once, uh, welcome once again, everyone, to the stream. Like I said before, we're going to be talking about the balance changes, chilling with a couple of people, talking about some stuff that you guys in the community want us to talk about, and then we'll get things popping. Yes, Today, so with us, want to introduce. Ah, uh, crap! Damn it! Why is work calling me now? No, I'm still <laughs> gonna get fired for self harm on this show. But yeah, all right, guys. So, uh, for everyone who doesn't know. We have with us Hella Brand, fearless team leader for our team, Hella Team Style. We have Gamer Trick, also on our team, Hella Team Style. We have Irishman Joe, also affiliated with Hella Team Style. And we have the outlier, we have Mr. Roman himself, Roman Edge. I never know if it's Edge or Edge GG or whatever, but everybody's going to introduce himself and then we'll get into the meat of the matter, so to speak. So, Brian, you want to start things off? Sure, yeah, I'm Hello Brian, uh, twitch.tv slash Hello Brian. I stream almost every day and I lead Hello Team Style. That's it. Hello, everyone. Irish, wanna go next? Hey, follower hype. Bells are pop. Thanks for moving into the neighborhood. Appreciate the support. Yeah, hey guys. It's Irishman, JMO. Uh, I'm one of the other longtime members of Hello Team Style. And. Look forward to talking about all these new changes today. Roman on you. Oh, what's going on, guys? This is your boy Roman. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Roman Edge Double E, uh, representing Team Casa Bonitas. Clearly, the number one team on the SPPD circuit. Let's go. Shout out to Emily Wooten. They're probably already done with the event that's going to start in a couple of days. I know, right? <laughs> and we have our, our silent member for the time being, Gamer Chick Handling some Busy Background. I'm here, I'm here. Hey, Scorpion Dong, welcome to the I'm, I'm, I'm Gamer Chick. I'm on Twitch, YouTube, both as 00 Gamer Chick 00. Yeah, I stream South Park. Um, to be determined how many times a week and other games too. Long time member of Hello Team Style as well. Played the game since launch. All right, very nice, very nice. Okay, so with that said, uh, I guess I want to go on the board first and just get this out of the way. I acknowledge that Red Links has fucked up monumentously with this balance change. I also acknowledge that I feel Red Links did the right thing, even though they did it in a fashion that has the community in uproar. So it's kind of a dual, it's a dual layered problem slash update. And we're going to jump into uh, the varying opinions behind the update and what the game has now become. So who wants to kick things off first? I, oh. I'll do it. I'll, I'll okay. kick it off. Sorry. I'm in here. Since I, I just finished streaming. I'm in the mood to talk. So um, <laughs> I I am pretty I'm pretty neutral with what they have done. Um, I, I just I think they could have implemented it a bit better. I think it was just kind of thrown out there. It happened all it, everything happened so quickly, uh, you know, with the rares, the epics, the legends. They're so fucking buffed right now. And everybody that spent all the time and all the money and, and just months, man, I've been playing this game since November, months and months and months, like trying to get up some common cards, you know, whatever, whatever. The my deck has seven fucking comments, so rip my entire deck. I think it was the way they implemented it and the fact that they just do not care, care about how we feel about the 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 way it was implemented they don't care that maybe they should scale i i personally think they might want to scale back the commons maybe to 50 percent of the, the the nerf or something like i i feel like the direction that the game is going isn't the direction of the way that i want to play the game and a lot of the top players they don't want to play the game like that either i can't uh, yeah. expect that my biggest thing is I I understand the idea that 
legendaries and epics needed to be buffed. What I don't agree with is I I don't think this was actually really good long term for the game currently just because we all recognize we've talked about plenty before that there's a scaling problem in this game. And the thing is, based on what they said on the dev stream today, they don't care and they're not planning on fixing it. So given that information, I don't know how they could ever make commons viable again, which means that they free to play players aren't going to be competitive in this game because commons are never going to be viable again. And I don't know how you justify that. That's my two cents. Yeah, that, that's a common, uh... That's a common feeling, I guess, that's echoed throughout the community that uh, common cards in general are basically now relegated to just fodder. They're just going to be gathering dust in everyone's collection. No one is going to really want to be running commons when uh, the meat of where the power, power is indexed now is with epics and legendaries as a whole. Brian, you want to chime in? Sure. Um, so I'll actually have a lot better idea um of how i feel after this weekend because they implemented all these changes but then they also started a new challenge map. so the last two days i've basically only been in the ladder to get pvp packs when they come up every four hours but what i'm going to do and what i think you know i would challenge everyone to do some of you were probably in my stream earlier so you're hearing this for the second time but try to use the same exact deck first exactly what you were using before and if you know about the rank you were hovering at before then see what it actually does to your rank. See where you end up hovering post changes. That way you'll have some data as to what, like how exactly the update has uh, affected you, has affected you personally. So that's what I'll be doing all weekend. We have a locker, um, a locker event. So I'll be playing locker limit, you know, all three days uh, with the same exact deck I was using before, and we'll see what happens. Because I was, I was um, pretty solidly around rank 40. And we'll just say between 25 and 50. I was solidly between 25 and 50, and we'll see if I can still maintain that. If I lose some, how much I lose. So that, that'll be interesting data for me. And, so uh, all in all, everyone basically feels that the new update has shifted a lot of power towards the whales of the community, so to speak, and has taken uh, somewhat away the fighting chance that free-to-players had use skilled play and not just randomly throw cards against their opponent basically. That chance. That and chance think, is fucking gone. It is a poof. Vanished. The whales are back. The beluga whales, the great whites, <laughs> the sharks, they're in there. Like, it's it's all ogre. It's, it, it's done. No chance for free-to-play players to be... Yeah, they could be some type of competitive and like rank 5k, 4k, 3k, whatever. But they'll never, never be in the top, like, 5 percentile. No way. No I chance. think if, if you, I think if you wanted to actually prove that this is what I'm, this is what the point of what I'm doing is, is see see exactly what it costs you to run the same deck if you actually have to change to epics. Because I'll tell you, the first thing I did was I changed to Adventure Mystic. I made four changes because I only had four fantasy cards to begin with, and I replaced Stan and Kenny, or yeah, well Stan Kenny Rogue Token and. Um, What's the other one? What am I not thinking of? Butters. Butters. So I put in, yeah, I put in Hermes Kenny. I put in Choir Boy Butters. I put in Stan of Mini Moons, and I put in Arrow Storm. They're ba they're you know pretty equal, um, in terms of what they what their utility for my deck. And I lost that that that's the only reason I actually lost rank so far. I went from like thirty five to sixty five because you know Stan and um, Kenny both cost more, and not only that, but Kenny and Butters' abilities for Mystic don't affect the sway of battle anywhere near as much as Kenny and Butters and Fantasy. So, I mean, for me, so far, I've actually been doing better with the limited amount of time I've played. Again, I've only pretty much played my free packs so far, but thus far, I'm actually doing better with um, my the same deck I was using before. Yeah, I feel like overall, like, based on, like, touching on the point that Gamertreak said before with the intention that red links had even though they executed it somewhat poorly a lot of i guess th this was a long time coming because people have been complaining for the longest time that legendaries don't feel legendary epic cards are like a waste it's better if you run commons in your deck because they're easier to level and you get a bigger power creep when you get them leveled up 
and then now it's like Red Links finally got around to doing what they really should have done from the get go and making epic cards and legendary cards really feel the weight of their significance in the game but then at the same time potentially going a little bit overboard with the whole nerfs to commons as well which I semi understand why they might have felt it was necessary to um to basically I guess tone down on the commons because everybody would have already had very strong common cards so maybe they felt like even though we buffed the legendaries and the epics due to the fact that people already have such strong common cards and are already only running common cards maybe if we tone down the power level on the common cards people would be more i guess uh what's the word i'm looking for more inclined to switch over to the obvious power creep with the epics and the legendary cards And with that, both with you saying that and what Brian was saying about testing the cards that you have out first is kind of what I wanted to talk about with all that makes sense, except like what was brought up on stream and not really addressed appropriately was what SDNW asked about. He asked why they uh, didn't give us much more notice that this was coming. And they're like, we've been very telling true, you for a very long true, time. Very true. And that's true. While they've been telling us this was coming, we had no details whatsoever until the day before. So there was no way to actually prepare for this. And so, like, uh, when it comes to me, I have been, I've played at least a locker limit um, since the update on my main account. And uh, I, before the update, was uh, consistently staying around rank 130. And now uh, I, I'm struggling to stay under 250. And uh, the only changes I ended up making in my deck were uh, I took Paladin Butters and Princess Kenny out for Choir Boy and Hermes. And when it comes to not being able to prepare for this at all, my Choir Boy is still, uh, he's max level three with waiting on like two more copies before I can even take him to four. But he still does more has higher, much higher stats than my um, Paladin Butters did. And then with Hermes, I did have him at level 4, but I don't have the materials available to actually level him other than... I think I only leveled him to 30 out of 40 or whatever it is so far. And But still, his stats are significantly higher than my level 6 Princess Kenny. So it still made sense to make the change, but with the people that were already had these cards, uh, which for the most part probably is just whales that actually had these cards ready to go. Uh, they've had them uh, an abundance of materials that free to play players don't have. And so they were already able to get to that top tier of competing with these new decks where I'm sitting at a plateau just waiting like, I'm, I've already seen my rank drop a little bit. Not a lot. I'm, I'm still hitting the rewards that I want to hit. But I was I was pretty confident going into the season after my last one ended that I was going to make a push for probably top 100 this time. And now I'm just stuck again waiting. I'm probably at least two seasons out now from being able to compete again. So that's my thoughts on how this was handled poorly. Like, I think it's great going forward. To have these cards be better, but I think that we definitely should have been given a lot, given a lot more notice to how this was all going to play out. Absolutely. I, Absolutely. I agree. I agree. I also saw other members in the community echoing the same point that Red Links in the past has said that they wouldn't do any major balance changes to the game mid-season because in the past they did this and a lot of people were upset because it affected ladder play. But no, this kind of hit everyone out of left field in the middle of a, of a season, essentially. And now the meta is like turned all topsy-turvy all over. So a lot of people are upset in that regard as well. That one, we didn't really get a lot of ahead notice time. We legit kind of found out like the day before. And then two, 
all this time that yes in the past they've told us that they're working on scalability of rares and 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 epics and legendaries but then no concrete i guess information was given as to what the changes that they wanted to make would have entailed as a whole so no one could really say oh well let me stop trying to level this because i need to focus my mats on something else or whatever the case is so i i agree with that point but yeah, I would have I would have stopped upgrading some of my common cards a long time ago if I would have known this was coming. Like I am I am just like just like JMO, I'm definitely like I was gonna push for I was already the lowest rank at like two thirty. I was at two thirty and I was definitely gonna wanna make a push for like one fifty. I wanted to be around like one fifty this season. But nope, that's not going to happen for another two or three seasons now because I have to save up. First of all, I need to save up gold. I have to save up gold. I have to save up materials, just like a lot of, you know, just like everybody else, unless you're like in that top percentile of people that just wail it up and spend so much money. Um, I'm, I'm going to be, you know, what if I, what if I don't want to play? Like, what if I don't want to do it again? Like if I wanted to start the game over, I just make another account. And I, I feel like I'm starting the game, not completely over, but I feel like I'm starting the game kind of over. Yeah, it's like a soft yeah. reset. And I wouldn't want to start a new account right now either. And I'm kind of the, one of the masters of starting new accounts along with JMT. Because uh, it was fun to do, but at the moment it wouldn't be at all because it would take so long to actually get to a competitive level now. Because my, and my also ult just Silver got destroyed Shield. by this update. Yeah, Silver my Shield ult, is struggling too, man. Yeah, my alt has two epics that I focused on from day one. Rogue Token and Amazing Randy that are close to level four. Everything else is like six out of six, ready to go level three, not even close. So I can't imagine how long it's going to take to get that account to be competitive again. Yeah, but, um, uh, you know, part of the issue, I think, too, with the whole, they said that this was coming. Um, I kind of laughed at that on the dev stream because I was like, the last time you guys told us a big update was coming, Epic's got like plus five health and attack. So it's not like you telling us something was coming made us have any frame of reference for what was actually coming at all. They didn't want to oversell it this time after the whole thing. Um, I also, I saw something in chat I, I wanted to kind of point out real quick too. I know one of the things I've seen that was kind of a popular response to people being upset about their decks being ruined and it's kind of what pub is saying in chat is this whole idea of well you should have invested in other cards and the thing is i will say for me personally i actually have most of my epics of four and it still upsets me so i don't think that's just it um but there's also the fact that for a lot of free-to-play players the only way they could be competitive is to invest all their materials into one deck so i think it's really unfair to punish people for wanting to be competitive in this game like because i i just don't understand how that's like fair <laughs> like that's, if people want to be competitive point. yeah I, I i i would also mention alongside with what gamer chick was saying that a lot of the earlier the early on guides for this game legit told people you should probably invest in one strong deck because material grind is a struggle in this game and to the to the effect that people were making up spreadsheet guides telling people what cards to invest in which cards are good which cards are bad so i mean you can't exactly blame people for potentially investing in maybe one deck or even one or two themes at most because that was pretty much the established meta that was any any content creator or any guide or anything like that that was online any reddit post or whatever legit was telling people that hey if you're new to the game this is what you have to expect this is what you should look out for these are the cards that are good these are the cards that are bad focus on this focus on that etc etc i mean i i also agree with gamer that that's not exactly the best outlook to have per se and at the same time i i see how people are let me say majority of the community outright hates this old thing. <laughs> That's the God and his truth. But at the same time, there's one of you who kind of understand within themselves that, okay, this happened and 
I kind of just got to roll the punches. I got to suck it up. And maybe they don't communicate that in the best or most friendliest way to other people who are, for lack of a better word, grieving over the last update. But I mean, at the end of the day, everyone loves the game. We all started playing the game out of that shared love of South Park. And I mean, we're all entitled to our opinions and whatnot because at the end of the day, opinions are like assholes. Everyone has them. Everyone uses them in different ways. But we all have that commonality. I do think another potential problem too with this, the way they handled it, is because there's the obvious outrage and there's the there's the whole part of the stream today where they're telling us that they plan on making it right in the future, but we don't know when that future is. And we already had a bunch of pissed off community going before this. And that was evident with this last season, how many top tier players were fed up with how like unrewarding this game is. And they all went down to silver shield. Like there's even some top 25 players that are in silver shield right now. And uh, there's no way that's not going to be way worse next season with this being the current state of the game. No one's going to want to be in Legendary right now if they can't compete at all. Yeah, yeah. Nobody, nobody's going to want to – no. <laughs> they don't want to be there at all, man. <laughs> there's no way. I wouldn't want to be there. I'm chilling. I put myself dead fucking last. I was I, – how much How much ELO I have? I, I'm ranked 14,650. And I'm third to to the bottom or some shit. Yeah, just because I want to, I'm gonna. My plan for my stream, anyways, is to go up little by little by little by little and see where, kind of like what Brian and you guys have mentioned, and then see like where I end up. And like, I, it's just, oh, nobody's gonna want to. Nobody wants to. <laughs> it's it's really crazy because a lot of people are dropping the game. A lot of people are de-ranking. A lot of people are. Going all the way down into Silver Shield, I saw screenshots of his Mr. Garrison character that's like level 21 in Silver Shield. And I weep for the new players that are trying to come up and like trying to experience even some bit of fun in this game. And then to get bitch slapped down by that is going to be hella demoralizing. But I mean, Red Link's kind of dug this grave on their own because like, like we mentioned, they had a good idea as with most times but then the execution just fell apart completely like this is something that they a should have done from the get-go like this should have probably been the big feature update b they should have at least understood the plight of the community and how much has been invested by the community to at least and I, I, and I, this might be a stretch but to at least give a 50 percent refund on like maybe either select cards or a certain number of cards that you can reset to zero and get back 50% of the mats and, and stuff that you invested in it. So then at least people wouldn't be as, I guess, ready to go grab a pitchfork and light a torch and stuff. But they're, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that because this is – they want to make money. We all know this. Everybody and their mother, their father, their dog, the pet whale, everybody freaking knows that all they want to do is make money. And so that – refund? <laughs> that is, that's a joke. They're not going to refund anything. And people are going to continue to spend money, especially uh, – like if I started playing this game right now, I wouldn't even know what was going on. But I know I'm a competitive player, so I'm definitely going to be spending some money. And that's what they want. They want people to spend money. And they will spend – they will spend money no matter what. Yeah, I th I like uh, I speak because of past experiences with Gamer Chick that she also feels very competitively oriented for this game. And it hurts whenever I know certain things happen that rub her the wrong way. And I legit feel bad because I know she just wants to be the very best like no one ever was. And I respect the shit out of her for that. And it's when like... you say you feel bad, you mean you feel bad for me, right? I feel bad for both yeah. Let's put it that way. Y'all come as a two so So I feel bad for both y'all. But I mean, going forward, what do you... Like, I want to hear suggestions from you guys. Either A, how do you think Red Links can potentially fix the current situation that they face with how the community views them? Or B, what do you think Red Links needs to do going forward if they don't like plan to rescind on any of the changes that they've made so far? 
what do you think they they might need to change for the overall i guess infrastructure of the game going forward towards the end game gamer chick yeah i think that they they absolutely need to give us a way to recoup materials i mean especially because my biggest thing that's frustrating about this is they're they say they're not done balancing cards which i mean yeah that's that's good in the aspect of there's obviously some legendaries that are kind of crazy OP now. And there's some commons that are like, what the fuck? But on the other hand, it's like, okay, well, not only have I just wasted 10 months of mats, but what that tells me is any mats I put into things now may also have been kind of wasted because those cards are going to be nerfed later. Uh, so they ha if they're going to keep messing with stuff, they Brian, what do you think? Was gamer check done? Okay, so. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they cut yeah, off. Yeah. She was still talking, but it cut off for some reason. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. I thought she was finished. But... All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just saying that we, they have to give us a way to um, recycle our materials, get materials, recycle cards, get materials back if they're going to continue to change things. I would agree with that. Um, I just think, you know, the overwhelming majority of the feedback that I've gotten through my own stream that I've seen on Reddit um, and the way that I feel myself is that they, they shouldn't have nerfed commons. Like the indirect nerf to commons by way of buffing everything else was enough and they didn't need to additionally nerf commons. And that's, I mean, this is an overwhelming majority that feel this way. So I, I almost feel like if they're really going to claim that community feedback uh, matters at all, then this, is, this would be a good time for them to prove that because they're getting plenty of feedback about their common nerf. Mm -hmm. I have to mention that some of those commons were nerfed in not just the blanket nerfing that all of them got, but some of them got little tiny nerfs, even though they did say in the stream today that cards weren't looked at individually, but we did see the evidence of some of these cards getting abilities changed, like Santa Mini yeah. does more than he did before and stuff like that. And, but Angel Windy doesn't heal as much. That's something I noticed. Uh, and we've all seen that the the common assassins don't trade the way they used to. And that's really weird for everybody because we've all been used to that for so long and now they play totally differently. Yeah, they and, don't trade uh, with themselves. Right. And they, they also don't kill Duggies anymore, which is insane. Yeah. Uh, is is that though is that linked to the nerfs that they got placement on the board or lag? No, it's the new stat changes. They have different stats now. Like a lot of them have higher health than they do attack. And so they hit each other twice. They have to hit each other twice now to kill them. Yeah. All right, Robert, what do you think? Oh, I think oh, okay. he's in there. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> uh, what do I think? Uh, okay, so once again, like, the game, for me, the game is fluid, okay? Like, just like they said, like, they're going to they're gonna take a look at each and every single card. They're going to balance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, once again, the fact of the matter is they just threw all of this at once, man. They just threw it at once. So it's not about now. It's not about, like, like, like process it like it, it 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 doesn't matter what they do like <laughs> they roll one card back okay that's fine whatever but the game is ruined for seasons the game is ruined so I, most I mean, the likely game, for seasons like the game is fluid sure yeah i mean like i'm not mad dude like it's fine i spent money on this game and i'll continue playing it i will adjust and i'll be back to where i was but i think they need to um for a way to like get some mats so like disenchanting cards you know because i'm getting tired of having like 600 fucking labards and not being able to get some mats for it you know shit like that like give us something back give us something like I i'm not asking for money refund i'm not asking for gold refund i'm not asking for material refund i'm asking for a quicker solution which is 
uh, disenchanting or, or getting more things out of lockers or, or even, or even packs that are, are allowed. Like you could buy these packs with gold, maybe not just Cartman cash, with, but with gold, like uh, something. Okay. So uh, I've, I've, do. I've heard this suggestion before and I want to somewhat bring this up because the comparison has also been made by, by myself as well in the past of uh hearthstone i don't know if the viewers know that game but it's a similar it's a trading card game made by blizzard and they have a disenchanting system in there now while i somewhat agree that there needs to be a way to recoup um invested resources um necessarily disenchantment might not be the best way for this model due to the fact that you have cards that you potentially gain copies of to strengthen the current card itself but i feel like something that i mentioned to it's just book was it it's just book? i can't remember i was talking to one of the devs about it and i was saying that um similar to how in fortnite if you make a bad purchase in fortnite you have three opportunities to rescind the purchase that you made uh within a certain time frame or whatever and I was thinking that that actual that model might be something that could be applicable to this game. Whereas, in the case of this big update that they did, and obviously they're going to realize people are going to be upset about things that they've invested into certain cards, whether time or actual in-game resources. Maybe a good idea to have would be to have a system similar to that, where you have X amount of tries to basically reset the value of a card and get back a percentage whether 80 percent or 50 percent whatever feels i guess uh as a comfortable compromise between red links and the players and basically have it to that degree where you can at least get back something so for instance in this case where they go ahead and they nerf all the commons then you should have the ability to either return all the commons you own to a certain level or return half of all the commons you own to a certain level but like there has to be something that you can at least not feel completely gypped even though you won't get back the time you'll at least get back some of the resources that you've invested it didn't cost them anything though to allow us to yeah. do that like it doesn't cost them a dime they're not they're not refunding cash they're not like it, it literally cost them zero dollars and zero cents to allow us to even do what you said i i strongly believe that there should not be there shouldn't have to be a compromise like they're not giving us money back so at least let us uh disenchant the cards like i i, I can I, I can go with that like if it's 50 it just makes sense anyway like that's why it's in other games already because it it just makes me I, I agree like even if it's 50 percent, i'm with you ghost like that that is that could be a compromise but there shouldn't be there shouldn't have to be a compromise they should just and, and have it. in they general just there's have a it. lot of stuff like that that can be done and i think that's the thing that's going to be what we have to look at it going forward how long is it going to take them to actually do all these positive things to make this a more playable update Apparently, um, the people the people that stream the game have no idea what's going on. So maybe they should have people that actually develop the game and that actually work on the game. Maybe they should be the ones who are streaming so they can answer uh, these questions that are being asked. We, we, Another, we all know uh, that's going to be a shit show because we we've all <laughs> seen the Twitch chat whenever their stream it, happens. Man. When you when you fuck up, gotta when get you the fuck up, you got to deal with it. Like you got to deal with it. Like. Now, another thing, they obviously showed now that they have no problem doing a complete overhaul of cards. And uh, Game and Chick was telling me earlier that an idea of hers that would be amazing because it also makes sense, like the Disenchant being in other games, because this being in other games as well, like Magic the Gathering, a common card is supposed to feel like a common. Like... A lot of the creatures in Magic that are just commons are just power and toughness. They don't have abilities or anything like that. So there's no reason why they can't overhaul some of these commons, like Stay in the Grade or something like that, that actually have abilities and make their rarity higher, or vice versa. Um, so that some of these cards that are already are leveled up can then be boosted to that rarity and then boosted stat-wise as well. Because some of these cards definitely don't compare to the others in their same rarity values. 
Okay. Um. So, all right. So if I get what you're saying, then so in an instance of maybe, say for instance, like you mentioned, Stan the Great. Uh, if he maybe caps out at level five, and then you get a thousand copies of him after that, then you can upgrade him from a common to a rare. No, not even not even that you get the choice of upgrading him. That they, they should automatically just go in the game and change him from a common to a rare. Ah, and then okay. give him the rare boost that all these other rares just got. What what would replace what would replace him as a common? Like why does there, there to have to be a replacement? There's not a balance. Like look at Mystic; they have all the fucking legendaries. It's not like there's a balance to what themes have certain rarities. Hashtag Mystic for life. Um, gross. gross. So yeah, it, there doesn't have to be a common replacement. Fantasy in general is filled with rares more than anything. So it's not like there's a there doesn't need to be a balance there. They just they just need to be the rarity that their card dictates. Fair enough. Um, I want to touch on since we since since actually brought up the whole Mystic thing. A lot of people are saying that for the new upcoming meta, Mystic is going to be running shit, so to speak. Mystic with anything is good because they have, uh, like you said, all the legendaries, multiple copies of legendaries in their theme. And they, I think, what, they're the only class that has epic, no, not the only sci-fi has gizmo. So they're almost based, they have two epic assassins that it's kind of hard basically to those, though. hit like a ton of bricks. So going forward, a lot of people have been switching over to Mystic, starting to level up Fireboy, Butters, Hermes, Kenny, etc, etc. Uh, but in in the grand scheme of things, now that well, we're only a couple days into this new meta, so I mean the meta still has room to grow. I for one, uh, so far I for one have been thoroughly enjoying this update. Uh, like I mentioned at the start of the stream, I agree with what Red Links did as far as buffing the epics and the legendaries because they really didn't feel epic and legendary and perfect. Case in point for this is Grand Wizard Cartman and Program Stan. I legit have been running Program Stan in my deck from the start of the season. He's been booty butt cheeks and I have him at level 5 and he still got his ass kicked. No, after the update, this dude is kicking so much ass for me, it's ridiculous. And I'm, 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 I'm happy to say that he got the deserved love and buff that he needed. So did Grand Wizard Cartman. So did Man Bear Pig. Man Bear Pig has friggin' almost 3k HP now at level 3. That's insane. Like, you still get wrecked. But that's still insane. So, I mean, I'm happy yeah. about that side of things. But I agree wholeheartedly with the people that are upset about the nerfing of the commons. I don't feel it was necessary. And I, 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 I'm not sure why Red Links thought that such a big change well alright let me not say such a big change such a blanketed change was the best approach because I've also seen other people mention that in truth and in fact if they had just taken individual looks at cards like they were doing before when they were going through each theme this probably would have been so much better executed than the blanket paintbrush approach that they took with this current update i personally have not had fun with uh with man bear pig and grand wizard carbon because i don't have them at level three and i've ran into them a dozen times in energy thanks staff, so much for the follow Timmy appreciate decks, the support with also witch doctor token and ninja and medusa it's just not a good time <laughs> so <laughs> There's not a lot uh, I can do about that. Cock magic is about the only about the only hope you can have there. Forward to facing Mystic. I I already hated Mystic. Anybody who watches my streams or or knows who I am knows my least favorite card on the fucking face of this blue earth is Who Zen also got buffed. But no one wants to talk about that. I must stay, friend. I already I already had trouble with my deck against Zen Cartman. And now I run poison and my common, my little common poison at level five ain't gonna fucking do a damn. Mystic thing. is Pokemon Go, Mystical is SPV. <laughs> I'm just gonna go I like triggering over by people level about five that. Zen, level six. Average guy used to get so triggered about regen, it. 
with the Medusa or whatever they're running, fucking Sharon in the back, like, peace out, see you later. Give him the slap, the D in your hand, like, nothing, like, it's just not going to be fun. That's why I'm in the bottom of the ladder right now. I'm going to be honest, though, Roman, even though Zinn even got this little boot buff here as well, that he kind of got nerfed in a way because of the epics now. Like, I've been getting smashed by, with my Zinn. By dog poos and program stands at the same time, kill him in seconds. Like it's not even close to like assassins that used to fight him. It's they funny just, just you say that. In now. Cause it's true. I I also agree. Like just like how I also want to go on the record. Just like how Roman hates Mystic, I freaking hate Cypher. I hate anything poison related. Cause that shit is so <laughs> broken. It's ridiculous. But at the same time, I totally understand where these guys are coming from. I've I've lived through this game long enough and enough mystic mystical hate has come along my way along the way that I understand why people feel this way. But at the same time, you gotta look at it from a mystic player's perspective. Our class has been nerfed to shit. And somehow we're still the bad guys. How does that make sense? <laughs> I mean, I before you guys were nerfed, like even when you were nerfed, it doesn't matter what year it was, what month it was, what day it was. I just fucking I hate I hate Mystic. I hate the way it plays. I hate the way it feels. I hate the way it smells. I hate Mystic. Bran, I want you to chime in as well because I I remember a stream Hello Bran was doing and he was actually trying to play Mystic and like the salt. It was so evident with Hellebrand trying to play Mystic and getting wrecked because he's used to playing adventure. What are your thoughts in now having to try and embrace the Mystic meta all over again, Brian? Um, I mean, we'll have to see what it ends up looking like. I'm expecting a lot of uh, assassin uh, trades, you know, to, well, not trades anymore, just assassin losses since, you know, anyone with a level four choir boy and Hermes now um, are going to be able to take out my assassins and live to take to, to move on and do something else too. So that's going to be different. That's going to change Mystic a lot. Like almost, it almost feels like instead of, you know, the assassin spam being fantasy, we might start seeing Mystic assassin spam, which wasn't really too much how they played the game before. But I could see like a choir boy, a Hermes, and then sexy nun Randy spits out an assassin and, and now you know, that kind of changed the way I can see Mystic playing. Um, of course, you know, and, like I said, it's still, still pretty new. And yeah, they were yeah, playing themselves. Yeah. That kind of ties into to what I think is, you know, people right now are really excited about the fact that... Congratulations to Mystic players. Up. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> SDW is um, like, yeah, let's fucking go. He was already like, yeah, he, let's he, go. But now, he kind of hates the update too in a way. Like, he realizes how bad some of it got skewed yeah Fair enough. Oh, finish, I mean, finish I think, the yeah, thought that you are you are making gamer trick yeah um I, I think the thing is that once the dust settles that there's going to be a strong meta just like assassin spam was a strong meta there's there's going to be a new strong meta so i don't think it's going to be like oh there's going to be five different decks that are popular there's going to be one or two main decks that everybody uses. They're just going to be different than what they were before. So how did that, that's just change in the meta. That's not like making the meta more diverse. If that makes sense. So basically you yeah. feel that even though now it's new, fun and exciting, we're still going to eventually end up back to the point where we were, where, there was a set and established meta that everyone was running. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, how, how, why would we not? But then now my question to you guys is, would you like to see a massive shakeup like what we just got every couple of months then for the game so that things can kind of have a fresh approach? No, 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 no I don't not. think anyone <laughs> wants that, man. I mean, I the problem is we it. wanted this months ago, so Adding that's new why modes, we wish there would have been some time to prepare for it. Like the new mode, no for one. instance, adding new modes like challenge mode, there's your fresh shakeup. Like this is completely yeah. new it's and true. fun way to play the every game. Every week. And that's cool, yeah, and it's every single week. But like as far as what I'm investing in, 
I don't want to feel like I, I need to worry about having to change that every couple of months or ever, really. I don't like feeling like I need yeah. to change it now. <laughs> and Especially, like, where you are in your rank, dude. Like, you, you guys are hyper-competitive up there in, like, the top 50s. I can't imagine, like, a shakeup like this is is massive for you guys, too. And just as much as it's it's massive for people at – at you know wherever the lower ranks are but I, I feel like you guys up there it's like holy shit i have a counterpoint to that because honestly i feel like it's the opposite i don't think it's that much of a shake up for the guys that are like top 100 because they would have invested yeah. in enough stuff overall in the game to easily switch from one thing to another like 21 or 22 new kid then i get you have to upgrade those cards in order to get well, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, half yeah, the yeah. ones a lot of them are 23 and higher now like they they've been leveling every card so they can get that new kid right exactly well i'm up there at top 100 and um you know i think that that's definitely where the majority of of the changes are going where the majority of the effect is going to be because what Red Link said is correct, that the majority of Legend is at 6, 5, 4, and 3. It's really only the tippy top where you start seeing 7, 6, 5, and 4. Other than that, it's it's pretty much hovering around, you know, 6, common, 5, rare, 4, epic, and, and, and 3, Legend. And that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at, too, you know, in the top 100. So even into the top 100, it's like that. It's really only like the very tip top where you start seeing people having one level up from that. But, I mean, like, you're you're... Like, f for an example, like, 1,000 1, to, like, a 100 seems like infinity to get to, right? Whereas now you're at 50 trying to get down to, what, top 10 or whatever, and it just seems like it's fucking impossible because they're so well, – they're that far ahead, you e know? Even with what I was saying, how I've only dropped from 130 to 250 – um may not even seem like a lot because it's still pretty early in the season too, but that was over 2,000 ELO that I lost yesterday. Mm. Like, I looked, and I was at 17,000 when I was at 130, and now I'm below 15,000. Like, it wasn't just a couple games. Like, it was, like, day one of season reset. It was a significant chunk, several games that it'll take to make that back up that I'm, I know I won't be able to do anymore. And that's kind of what's frustrating me. I mean, as long as I still finish top 250, I guess I'm still getting the same reward. But it it just sucks that I know I was on the cusp of being up there in the next tier. And now, just because of card changes, I can't be yet. Like, because I just, I don't have all three of legendaries yet. I'm like a couple of cards away on most of them. But it's just like, I have to sit there and wait now. And... It's just kind of frustrating that I have to do that. Brian, uh, I'm interested. Can you like give us some insight into what you've experienced currently so far in you know the top 100, the people that you're going against, what kind of strategies or epics and legendary cards you're starting to see more often or such? I'm just starting to see a lot more of them. I said my play's been limited um, on the ladder so far, but I have run into London. Um, in London, I, I don't even know if he was using anything rare or common. And there are things that are definitely different. I have a level five hook hand Clyde, and it hit his level five Mechatimmy, didn't kill it. And um, I also learned actually in a different game that level four Lightning Bolt will no longer kill level three Stana Mini Moons. I legit so just did that on stream, by the way. Five hook hand versus that, five mecha? That makes me uh, lightning bolt level four versus a uh, level three stand of many moves. Oh, yeah, yeah, that shit doesn't work anymore. That's why I'm saying. Oh, it's or maybe even just the entire game is about to get flooded with requests for lightning bolt because a bunch of people were shelving that, like, oh, I'll do lightning bolt later. Four is enough. It's not enough anymore. So there's going to be a ton of people that need lightning bolt at five as soon as possible. And um, what else did I run to? Oh, Adorna. Adorna. Um, I actually beat for the first time, maybe a week ago, maybe two. And when I was playing him previously, it was, you know, close-ish. Like he's won, you know, every single encounter except for one. But maybe he gets a bar, maybe he gets two. This time that I ran into him since the update, it was an absolute stomp. It was 3-0 in probably a minute and a half. I've ran into that a lot, too. There's been a lot of whales that I've been able to beat recently. Like, easily beat. And now I can't even touch their health bar. 
Yeah. So, you know, the things are definitely... That's where, the, like I said, that's where it feels like the majority of the... These cards um, at, at 7654. Or even 7655 in the case of London's uh, Mecha Timmy and I think we have a five man bear figure in it. Is that it? Is it just London and the guy with the level five man bear pig? Cho chosen uh, one with a level five man bear pig. Shout outs to that guy. <laughs> Yo, imagine, yeah. imagine, who's that dude that has level 7 fucking astronaut butters? Imagine. Shane. <laughs> Shane. No, but Shane. he's still doing fine. Imagine yeah. him. Imagine he doesn't run a lot of commons. Feels. Oh, baby. Shane yeah. doesn't run a lot of commons, though. Okay, yeah. How long it takes to get a level 7? Also, by the way, Lightning Bolt doesn't kill level 4 Pope Timmy anymore. I just did it on stream. <laughs> Yeah, I would just, as you were saying it, you know, the moment happened. So you're playing. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, uh, so there you go. Then another reason to love Because you can lightning, or you used to be able to lightning pull Pope Timmy before he respawned things. Actually, if anything, Shane's probably better now because, uh, his Dougie won't die to assassins anymore. Yeah, his Dougie's six now? Or getting there or something? Granted, he usually freezes anything you try to kill it anyway, but. Yeah. One thing, um, you guys were talking about this way earlier, um, but I, I kind of had a, a question about it, you're, um, how we all would would tell new players, you know, to only a couple epics or because they're extremely hard to upgrade, you know, mostly commons, mostly rares are where you want to invest. What what's interesting to me, or what I what I kind of is the, does that advice really change that much now? Because even even that that's still the case, you know. Epics and legendaries are still RNG. It's still they're still hard to get. They're still hard to level, and it would still be hard to have like a whole deck full of them, especially with someone brand. I think it changes a little bit because look at it in your case. You were like the only opposite person from everybody else. You did your rares before you did your commons, and yeah. for a long time you you suffered because of that until your commons finally caught up. But now you kind of, in hindsight, look like you were the smart one for doing that. 200 IG yeah. plays. Now, most people only have level four lightning bolt, but you've been having level five for months now. Yeah, that's true. That did work I, out in my favor. Yeah, I have level five lightning bolt too, and I've had that like, it was one of my first, first cards to get up to level five, so. But that doesn't, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help that I have like fucking six commons in my deck though. So <laughs> I'll see you. I'll yeah. see you guys at rank like 1000. I'll see you guys there. Don't I'm about worry. to have a level I'm six PC up. principal in like five days Shit, and I can't even be excited about it anymore because all my commons are level five. I'm going to be the whale of rank 1000. Don't you guys worry. <laughs> so Pub's yeah. asking if we have any positive things. I think Ghost has definitely said some positives to me. There are positives to it, um, but I think to me it's like you say it's your birthday and you have a birthday cake and you get $100, but your dog also dies and you get in a car accident. There's positives to that day, but you're probably going to be a little more focused on those negatives. Hey. And to me, kind of, you know, it's, but that's like to me, that's how this update is. Like there, there are positives. It is fun that the ladders kind of shook up. It is fun that epics and legendaries feel that way. But the negatives to it kind of outweigh and overshine the positives, at least to me, and I would say probably a majority of the community. I have a I have a funny positive for Pub. Rogue Token got even better. He loves that card. Can't deny that. <laughs> I was actually mentioning this in the Discord Legend Chats for the South Park for Destroyer Discord. And it's like I I look at it kind of like Red Links is like a, a, a Dijin. It's like you get a wish and you wish for something, but there is always that little nagging bit of the wish. So you wish for a car and the car, co you get the car, but the car has no engine. You wish for a million dollars, you get the million dollars, but then the IRS comes and collects a large portion of it. Like we've been asking for legends to feel legendary and to have more meaning and significance in the game. And we got that. It's not that we didn't get it. It's just that we also got that little nagging bit where at the end of the day, commons were also nerfed alongside us getting 
the more meaningful legendary cards as a whole. I mean, and honestly, it, oh, go ahead, Roman. I've talked a lot. Sorry, like, <laughs> that should have from the start. From the start, an epic and a legendary should have felt like an epic and a legendary. Like there's, there's no reason why Absolutely. an epic at level four gets killed by say, by who like a PB, a PB or a, or a smuggler or whatever. Like gets killed by a level six common. That should not happen. From the start, from the start, it should have been like an epic. Feels like an epic and a legendary. And it didn't for so long, and now all of a sudden it does, and it's like people are like, Meh. like they don't know what to do. True, but it's like I tell people all the time. Red Links is like Jesus. You don't always get what you want right away, but we'll provide it in time. That requires the same amount of faith that I have in Jesus. <laughs> you know, I think the thing, the, the really big thing to me is the commons. And I think if they fix that, then maybe they'll probably fix a lot of the problems because and it's not just about like the free to play and pay to win to me it just like it just blows my mind that they would make an entire class of cards not playable at a certain point in this game like or cap right like it's just like you're how how do you say this class of cards is worthless that that just doesn't make sense in the context of their game no matter what yeah it's it's 100% for me, you know, even when I see even a five mecha to me, now a legendary surviving a five hook hand to me seems okay. Really, the only problem that I have is, is the nerf to the commons, which didn't seem necessary at all. I, I think it's fair to say that we as a community as a whole all more or less agree that the nerfs to commons wasn't what the game needed the buffs to legendaries and epics was definitely what the game needed so we're definitely at the very least half thankful for the update i guess but some 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 i guess dedicated looking at is needed for commons even if red links decides that they, they they're they're sticking by their decision to I guess nerf common so that they scale in a way that's more conducive to how they want the, the end game to play out. I think that at the very least they should take into consideration the uproar that has been created by this and re-examine the degree at which they potentially nerfed common cards. Scale it back 50%. That's all you gotta do. 50%. Scale the shit back 50%. That's that's fine. That's good. Leave it alone. You know, I've also seen an interesting idea that some people have presented of like um, limiting decks to where it's like you can only have like two legendaries, three epics, so that way you're forced to still use commons. And I thought that was kind of an interesting take on how to help with the scalability. That, was that would in make the, really more that, sense. That was in the if they're not going to limit morning, cap, right? or if they're not going to limit card levels, that's a much better mm -hmm. way of going about it because there's a lot of games that do that as well. That they uh, limit the rarity values. All right, so I'm gonna I'm play devil's advocate for a second, um, because I think I saw that this morning in the dev stream. I'm not entirely sure, but my question then to you guys would also be, and some people are going bound to feel this way eventually. Why are you going to punish a player for having a card? Punish a player for what? Why are you punishing a player for having a card? Because that's essentially what it's going to feel like for some people. It's like, oh, I have all these cards and I want to play these cards, but now you're limiting me even more so just because I have this card and other people don't have it. Because you already limit the player's, I guess, overall creativity for making a deck by restricting the deck themes to two and a neutral. So then now you're that putting a further restriction on the overall well, collection. That's where they just need to decide if they want to be competitive as a game or not. Like, I mean, if they want their ladder to be competitive, they would limit stuff. Because you don't want people to win just based on how much money they spend if you're trying to be a competitive ladder. Like, none of us really expect to ever compete with, like, the top five because they're going to be the ones that are getting to those level six epics here probably pretty soon. But for those other top tiers, though, there's still competition to be had. 
And if you want pe- players to actually strive to be competitive, you would have to put something into the game to help that. But, yeah, if you want to feel like it's going to punish players then, and you just want to make the top 1% happy, then go ahead. And you're going to keep getting feedback like this from people. Fair enough. Fair enough. I just had to play devil's advocate for a second just so that people can understand that we're, we're, we're doing our best to look at all these topics and, and, and stuff unbiasedly oh. and give everyone a fair chance. Like, I, guess, I mean, I even guess. for me... I play, uh, there's a card game on Final Fantasy called Triple Triad that I uh, I have almost every five-star legendary you can get on there. But you're only allowed to have one in your deck on there. Actually, you're only, have, you're only have, allowed to have one card that's above three stars. So you have to choose between four-star and five-star just based on the decks that you play, which doesn't make a lot of sense because you're just going to pick five-star every time. But either way, that's the only thing that keeps someone like me who's played the played it and collected all the cards since the beginning from completely blowing out someone that can't do that um and keeping because they have tournaments every week on there and that's the only thing that keeps that competitive i like the idea i think um you know that that keeps the people that do well like crazy for running of a deck for five epics that's a positive thing Okay, I, I I can see the standpoint where if they want to make the game more competitive based, considering the direction that they say they want to take the game in and the inclusion of friendly fights and the tournaments that have been popping up more in the community, that maybe a more, I guess, stringent set of rules as far as what is deemed, uh, tournament standard or competitive standard would probably be more of a focus for the devs versus us adding more fun modes to the game, I guess, potentially. Yeah, I mean, it's it's nice to see that they were affiliated with the t- finally. I think that was the first one. I'm sure it was actually Reddit's idea, um, but they were still, they, they mm-hmm. went along and, and provided some cash to go along as a prize. And it's, I mean, it's cool if, if they want to go in that direction, though. I think there's there's a lot of work. Like, I don't think, I think it's way too lazy to just say four, one. Like, I think they actually have to go in and scale each card to a, the correct value that, you know, balances it the way the game should be balanced. Like, perfect examples are like Captain Wendy and Rogue Token in friendly fights. Like, they don't kill assassins in friendly fights, they just cripple them. Now, if that's the intended balance, then I guess that's fine, but everyone is used to Captain Wendy and Rogue Token just obliterating assassins. So I think it's too lazy to just say, you know, four, three, two, one, that's it. You go in and you find, you know, the exact amount of health and, and um, attack and the ability power for each card if you want to actually consider, you know, a competitive game. Yeah. Well, just you can look at just the first time Rogue got buffed months ago as an example for that because, um, they buffed him just to the point to where he killed level six assassins because people were starting to get level six assassins for the first time. And he suddenly couldn't kill them. So they're like, Oh, we should probably up this a little bit. And that's what they did with his ability. Yeah. His ability is nuts now. Ghost has got it up on. Oh, I know. (laughs) They kill my, uh, my range units in one hit now. That's only a level Even four, blood. isn't it, Ghost? Yeah, I only have level four. I'm not balling like you guys at level five, real quick. Crap, I don't even think I've looked at mine. <laughs> I wonder what mine does now. Wait, I'm, what did I, you I, say? I, 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 I'm just happy that at the end of the level day... Level five kills Blood Elf. Rogue, um, um, Rogue Token no longer kills my Cupid Cartman, so I'm just, like, super stoked about that. Wait, which Rogue... Level four Rogue Token won't kill your... Nope. The moment okay. I got Cupid Cartman to level 5, he no longer died to level 4 Rogue Token. And I, I I'm not sure that. I'm not sure how much level 5 Rogue Token does, but I don't think it can Cartman still. I'm going to go look right now because I'm not sure I looked at it. So I have an answer for you. I didn't, I didn't know that either. That's... Huh. Cupid Health was 345? Yeah, 345. I think it's extremely close. Yeah, what what else? Fingers what crossed. else top what else topics you got? 
All right, so this is the portion where I had figured I'd jump on either Reddit or the Ubisoft forums and kind of see what the overall community, I guess, outcry is like. No, uh, at the top of the Ubisoft forums, there's a thread that says, I like these car changes. It's Wow. Let's go take a look at what this guy says. So, after playing a couple of games, I'm liking these results. Instead of the typical Assassin 2 energy deck, fantasy deck, or slow mystic decks I'm always against. Now I'm starting to see a lot of new decks I've never imagined I see in high ranks or even cards for that matter. Currently, around world rank 500 to 750. This keeps the deck pretty interesting and fresh. Granted, it really went E2P favored. I really like this update. I can respect this. Yeah, for the most part. I, I mean, the he's only not disagreement wrong. is he's not wrong, but you still have to understand why people are upset that they they weren't pay to play before and were able to beat the ones that were, and now they can't. All right, so there's two it more should comments. be because it should be a skill game first. That's in true. my opinion. Like, like I true. think if you spend the money, you should definitely get an advantage uh to how you get your cards and all that shit but you still have to be skilled enough to win and that's not exactly the case anymore so the next comment after that is from skidster one he says i have to agree i think it has totally revitalized the game people are having to put some thought into what cards to use now instead of everyone just using the same boring old ones that everyone does I have had more fun playing this game in the last 24 hours than I have had in a long time. Great job, guys. Yo. Smart. Right, so people, Round of applause people, for Red Links right there. Yo. Shout out to Red Links, man. Where is he? Is he playing in Silver Shield? Is he playing in Highland? Like, where is he? Like, sure, I'm going to have a lot of fun in Everyone's going to have different opinions on yeah, of course. based on yeah. where they play. I think he's playing. Depends on where he is. I think he's playing in the Red Link's office. Both of them <laughs> probably just work <laughs> there. The Red Link devs team. <laughs> um, by the way, I do want to make a counter to the whole assassin spam thing. Um, I've actually seen more uh, in my games. It may just be uh, just bad matchups I've ran into, I guess. But Mystic Fantasy that I've ran into have been running both Butters and Kenny, Choir Boy and Paladin Butters, A and Hermes and Princess. Wow. And that's kind of a nightmare. More than it was before with uh, Adventure. That's some quick cycle right there with the new card cycles. Because they die so fast and they have such good utility <laughs> so you really don't care to just sit there and spam them. Well, I mean, all right. So in the, in the thread, we had two positive comments for Red Links. So shout out to Red Links on doing a good job with the update. Let's just get that out there. But then we also have the other side of the, car, the coin coming from Camel Chasers. Nerfing all the commons was a horrible idea. I love that epics and legendaries are finally good, but now it makes requesting cards a fairly moot exercise and encourages buying the daily deal a far too obvious cash grab. A major draw of Clash is that common cards can compete with legendaries due to different level caps. Here, it's just insane where major pay-to-win players can buy completely unbeatable cards. We'll see how it goes, but right now, it's looking like the top of the ladder became even more pay-to-win. That's a lot of very fair points. I even sarcastically said on the dev stream today, I said... Are you guys thinking about removing the uh, ability to request comments? Because I don't think anyone's going to use it anymore. And, yeah. Like, that's true. We've already seen a lot of people just completely cut off what they were requesting to go to rares. And I, I uh, get that, but at the same time, I, I don't know. Maybe I feel like we also have to kind of take into consideration the fact that we're not only supposed to be looking at us people in Legend, but also general people on a whole in the lower ranks who might, yes, they might get a one, one-off copy of Man Bear Pig that boosts the, the stats of their deck or whatever, but they still have to fill out 12 other cards in the deck. And they might not, and well, not even they might not, they definitely starting out are not going to have all epics, rares, or legendaries. So commons are still going to serve a purpose in that regard at the very least. 
Um, so, so I, I wanted to address um, Bad Fish in chat was talking, talking about how let's admit the game was pale and this just shook it up. up. I, I can see that point, but I think I think where part of the frustration stems is that the game was only stale because of things that existed in the game that were already Red Lynx's fault. Like the material like shortages, like the inability to get materials means that you can't upgrade other cards. So people only played one deck. I would say a lot of time it wasn't because of choice, but because they couldn't play any other decks because they didn't have the materials to level up those other cards. That's where I've been. I mean, I just now, after playing since November, have got to a point where I've been leveling up other themes. And I, I'm not even really quite there to compete at the same place that I was at on ladder, but I, I was slowly getting there and I was working on it, but I couldn't play other things because of the resource shortage. So I, I would say that's why ladder, part of why ladder was so stale is because of the inability to move around, not mm -hmm. just because meta was so strong. And I don't think that's going to change with this new meta. People, part of the reason people are so frustrated is because they can't level up the new good cards. So it's shook up, but I mean, like I said, I think it's only shook up for a small while until people level up the one or two new meta decks because the same problem still exists in the game. Fair enough. I also, I can concur with that point. Um, switching gears a bit over to Reddit, like, God help me going over here, but, <laughs> um, and I'm curious to hear what you guys' input on this, because I don't really mess with the challenge mode, but I know you guys go hard on refreshing and shit. Uh, so this here is a post by Yvrain, it says, help, Red Links, why do you never put in your dev notes that you reduce the challenge rewards once again? Do you think we don't realize it? Every week, people report that the rewards are getting nerfed more and more. Why can we not have basic transparency about it? I'm going to hand this off to you guys because I don't know anything about rewards for challenge mode because I suck at it. So do you guys concur with the point that Yvren is making here about the nerfed challenge rewards? Anybody can start this off, by the way. Absolutely, I do think that it's, it's been noticeable. Like, yeah. um, it, it, what's funny that it's noticeable that they have dialed back the rewards not only on the uh, uh, the the tiers, like how it's just top one this week, um, but the packs have been a little sh like smaller as well on some of the materials and things. Yeah. And it, it's funny that that got reduced. But they couldn't fucking figure out that they didn't switch back the uh, last week's card packs to not be all range units. But they can they can definitely nerf stuff anytime they want without Here, issues, uh, so. Benny, sure. Benny. Oh, go ahead, Roman. I'm going to cut in for a second. I just got my 12 and 0 in challenge. Number one, baby. <laughs> uh, Number uh, one. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right, yeah, all right, all right. Let, let's all take a moment to acknowledge how great Roman's outfit is. It's a nice outfit. <laughs> GG, well played. So That's uh, awesome. I like the challenge mode, as you can see. So, Benny, in our chat, earlier, or like when challenge mode started, he posted it's been reduced by, so I can tell you guys. We went from 200, 400, 800, and 1,000 coins to 200, 300, 600, and 800. And then for the the upgrade items, um, there were three packs. Or, or initially, it was 10, 14, and 22. Now it's 10, 10, and 10. And then there were four packs of cards that were 7, 10, 13, 14, and 18. 1, 2, 3, 4. I guess there were five packs of cards. 7, 10, 13, 14, and 18. Now it's 7, 10, 10, 10. So there, now you know you're missing out on a total of 4 and 12 and 16 materials and quite a few cards, actually, compared to how it used to be. And they didn't mention anything about it. And then there is some truth to what you've read. Yeah, what absolutely, 100%. Truth? Yeah, it's it was... Uh, what blows 13. my mind is people have, like, it's nothing but positive feedback for challenge mode. People love it. doesn't matter if you're... A whale or free to play like people are spending their all of their cash on this now than anything and then they're going to go and take away one of the best reasons for us to spend our cash on it by dropping the rewards 
Like that's why people are farming it. And so now my question to you would be, do you think it's a situation similar to what Red Links has said in the past about locker limits? Or, 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 you know, because they don't they, want people to advance too yeah, fast. They yeah, don't, they don't want people to just sit and grind away at something. So they but might potentially twice a week. scale back on it. It's not every well, day. So why does it matter what they do for two days out of a week? Yeah, but a locker limit is once a day. But every day. Like, you can get those lockers every day. I, I'm curious to see their logic behind some of these decisions because even even they have gone in the past and said that according to their statistics, only a very small percentage of players actually hits their, their locker limit consistent, which is fine and dandy if that's the case, but then that's a counter argument to your point of not wanting and grind the game away because if people aren't already hitting locker limit, then it shouldn't matter if you allow the small percentage of Grind the game away. But they're okay yeah, with people. Holy shit! Five minutes they oh, my own, oh, many, many, well, many, yeah. Many, 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 <laughs> I mean, if you're talking about M's if people are just like opening the fucking all day long. Subscription. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. For sure. I mean, they don't. They don't put a cap on that. M's. Yeah. You, you yeah. MVP. For sure. That's true. Um, but yeah, when it comes to challenge mode, I mean, it is a lot. Um, and like, oh, did I? I was just saying, the challenge mode, even with what it's been reduced to, it's it's still a lot of value. And I did it like six Definitely. times, but I could imagine someone like Roscoe. I mean, I don't know. You can do one in like forty-five minutes, so you could probably do like twenty over the course of two days, assuming you sleep at some point. I mean, this challenge right here in particular, you could do it in twenty minutes. You could. Nope. You can demolish this challenge over and over and over and over. True. And a lot of those and, guys aren't that good at challenge mode though. Yes, even if you get like if you if you get eight wins, even eight wins at twenty five, it is such a good value. So it doesn't matter if you get twelve and zero or whatever. It's still such a good value to to do challenge modes all fucking day instead of going for locker limit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Tress and Kane are like the only ones that that seem like. They really crush both ladder and challenge mode all the time. Some of the other whales you don't even see pop up in the top 50 on challenge mode. Just want to take a minute to acknowledge the awesomeness that is M's. Just subscribe to the channel, support you, boy. Look at this goal. That was so hype. I wish I could get that hype ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you get hype in a way. <laughs> Do I? Yeah, a little bit. Good. That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see if we can find another topic here on Reddit. Uh, which one looks... Ooh, this actually kind of is talking about something that we mentioned earlier in the stream. Someone made the... I guess Paul saying, give us a window of time to effectively reset our cards back to level one, returning all spent mats and coins. This level of balance alteration warrants this tenfold. Why is this not happening? This wasn't a few cards being balanced nerf off. This was an across the board shift in the game. Do the right thing. Thoughts? Well, I think that's just as overboard as the buffs that they gave. Like, giving some kind of disenchant aspect to the game is one thing, but just completely saying I can take all my cards back to zero and get everything back for it is asking a little too much. Yeah, I don't know where I land on that. I mean, they're saying that their reason, their reasoning is there's been such a shakeup. Epics now instead of commons, right? It's just as, as a general rule. You can disenchant an entire common card and, and probably still not get enough mats to max out a level more epic. So that's a different way of looking at it. Like if you were to disenchant a, a Friar Jimmy from level six and then. You cut out again. I was saying that because the, the meta seems to be shifting toward epics are vastly more expensive. 
So if we do have to shift now from commons to epics, even if you did get all of your mats back for a level six common, you probably still wouldn't have enough materials to max out a level four epic. That's true. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ooh, before I forget, um, oh, before I move on to the next thing, anybody had anything else to say in regards to the Reddit post? Not really. No. I mean, it's Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I, and this is totally me dropping the ball, but we haven't talked about the newest addition to the game, Senor Imp Tweak himself. How is everyone feeling about this new card being added to the game, even though I know it's it looks fucking awesome? That card is great. I love the mechanic. I love the design. I I, I just love what it's going to bring to the game. Um, the whales will probably make it so that I will never want to fucking see it ever. <laughs> a card ever, but I, I love the dy I just love the way the dynamic, the way you're gonna have to play the card, the the, the situational awareness, just just the way like it's a good fucking card. Yeah, like the it. ability is amazing. I like it. As a Zen Cartman more, player though, I hate it. They need more cards like that. Yeah, I feel like but I it, think, it honestly, adds that it's new gonna dynamic. hurt Timmy. It's gonna hurt Timmy players more than it hurts uh Zen Karma players. Well, I mean, it's a two-way street somewhat, but it's usually in the player's benefit that plays the empty. Because it's at least guaranteed to get like two hits on tower because it's flying melee if memory serves, not flying ranged. Right. Two hits if I, uh, if I level five fucking lightning bolt that into oblivion. And that's, uh, and that's the thing. Remember, you have to time that lightning bolt because if you waste that shit when it goes to the Shadow Realm, that's for energy and not getting back, bro. It has to be just yeah. like Rogue. It has to be like Rogue. Like, the devs couldn't, like, they, they were just like, oh, people are, like, trying to lightning bolt it. Oh, it doesn't work. It fucking works. You can lightning bolt it. You just you just have to have, like, that one frame. They just didn't timing. see it coming. <laughs> like, yeah. You have to have that perfect frame it's like AQR. You can hit AQR if you know it's coming, but... Absolutely. It's rare as fuck. So. Yeah, I think it's it, it vastly changes, you know, the wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, the way that we're used to playing is just to play next to our tower, and I think it makes mm -hmm. that a much scarier thing to do now. But yeah, that's why I think it's going to hurt, like, Timmy players and stuff, because you're just going to, they're going to put it behind tower, you're going to put Tweak on tower and just put their Timmy right out there in the open field on your side. And the yeah. fact that you don't like, if you don't lightning bolt it and it gets there, it's an instant like two or three hits on the tower. That is so good. Yeah. So, like, Especially in this week's challenge. I feel like that's that probably why this they week in the dev stream, if they already have their cards, <laughs> they can tear up this challenge right now. Shout out to all the people First that won free imp tweaks in the dev chat this morning. Thanks. Yeah, that, that was your cue. Like <laughs> yeah, and also, um, somebody else already got theirs, Frank. My, my stream rated, hey, Frank, because he already got his. He was already, he was using it on ladder. Ah, I think I saw a Reddit post on it on stream. Yeah. He had some interesting ideas for it. Sounds legit. I feel like what um, Roman was mentioning and Roman Archer was mentioning before about the, the strategy behind playing it and whatnot and how it's basically guaranteed a couple of hits on tower when you use it effectively like that against a uh, Zen or a uh, Mecha Timmy. That's pro I feel that's why they probably made it so high cost at 5 energy because it, if memory serves, isn't that like the highest costed line thing that we have in the game? I think. Yeah, yeah, it is now. Yeah, so that's a fair balance. I mean, whatever gets, and and that's the thing. Like once again, going back to the initial way that the game is played, all the guides starting out that you look into for learning how to play the game tell you, okay, start your thing behind the new kid tower. You want to get most of the battle on your side of the field, so you start behind the new kid tower, so it takes longer to get to your opponent's side. So I mean. In a, that in and of itself already is going to screw over a lot of players because most people tend to do that by default and not even think about it. 
Well, yeah. we already had to make that adjustment with Marine Craig getting the huge buff that he got, and most of us still do it anyway. Like it's, it's just always have still been better to do, and now it's going to be really. Yeah, I don't interesting think to see how it shakes it up. Yeah, like this will be more detrimental than that. Like your unit, yeah. you know, would you lose like half health. In well, Morgan Marine Craig does kill tower. some like uh, quite a few units that didn't kill before. Or barely even budged their health before, but yeah. So there are some units that you still have to worry about now, but but it's still uh, that's going to be interesting. I'm excited to get my hands on them. We'll definitely stream friendly. All right, so this is going to be the, the the last topic that I take from Reddit. Um, it says three things Red Links can do immediately to make the recent changes better. <clears throat> So the person says, and this is AG Seller Door, so shout outs to them for trying to make a constructive slash positive post. Uh, gonna keep it short and simple. I definitely feel for anyone who's free to play and who invested heavily into a single deck for mostly common since the launch of the game. Here are three suggestions Red Links could easily do to help fix this. One, unnerf the commons. Simply put, the commons did not need a nerf when legendary and epic cards received such a substantial buff. A max level 4 choir boy would have been already slightly better than a max level 6 paladin butters even if paladin butters had not been nerfed. I think people are mostly okay with the epic legendaries feeling powerful and slightly outclassed in rares and commons in stats but what we got in this patch basically renders even high level commons obsolete which is basically all of what we said earlier and what gamer chick was alluding to. This can be fixed largely just by undoing the nerfs to commons. Suggestion number two, give every player 500 bronze, 250 silver, 150 gold materials from every theme plus 30,000 carbon coins. That, that's never happening. Um, this would allow every player to level up at least one to two epic cards per theme they use to a playable level and would help okay. free the who, who is that in all their other smoking? I, I, I admire his <laughs> forward positivity but we all know that that's not that num yeah, like number that one be. number one maybe number two hell no <laughs> number three no you know, is where it gets interesting number two. No, as someone I, who's not happy with my state i don't even want that that's not the way the, you know any game but works. here's the thing that's that's crazy to me is we all kind of like guffaw at the idea of them giving us free stuff and, and i know that's mainly because they never give us free stuff but what's sad is giving away free stuff doesn't like impact the dynamic of the game it doesn't change ladder stats but what it does is increase confidence in the developers and the game there's another game that i play that they are they constantly like anytime they make like even a grammar error they're giving away like a, a very very small but they're still giving away an increment of in-game currency and i can tell you that that game has one of like the best and most supportive communities that i've ever seen and there's such a good relationship with the devs because it makes it to where the players don't feel cheated if if they mess up they compensate the players, even if it's a small amount. And psychologically, it, it doesn't have to be a big thing. But giving back to your players like that can make a huge difference in the tone of your community and how people view your, view your game. So I think, I mean, I understand, like, they don't do it, but I really think it's a shame. And I think we should expect more from them. Well said. Totally in agreement with that. I, 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 I can see that standpoint. And I can see how it would raise morale with the community in general to know that at least it doesn't feel like red links completely shafts them every time something goes wrong uh, in in all fairness due to red links they do do it on a small scale whenever there's like a maintenance outage or some hiccup with the servers or whatever we usually tend to come back on and see like oh have this whatever 45 cash yeah exactly they, 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 they throw a little they throw a little bone our way so we as a community yeah, want and, more I mean, from them. That encourages people to spend more too. Because I mean, yeah, I'm I'm never gonna spend on a mega whale status, but at the same time, right now, I don't even want to give them five dollars a month. Whereas if I had more confidence and they created a little bit more goodwill, I'd probably go, you know, spend five dollars a week. 
Um, and that's still more money that they're getting in. And so, yeah. I'm going to play, I'm going to play a little devil's advocate a little bit. And I'm going to say like, thinking about it, maybe it's not just Red Link's fault. Maybe it's Ubisoft, you know, like but it's probably 90% Ubisoft. Ubisoft is probably saying, Red Links, you need to make this amount of fucking money or we're going to stop funding you. Like, Yeah, it's probably true. Sucks. So, I mean, in a way, maybe the devs and, and, and people at Red Links have, have their hands tied behind their backs. You know, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe they're just all fucking greedy and want to make as much money as possible before they shut down the servers in like a year or two. Because you know what's going to happen. Come on. That is what a lot of mobile games do, unfortunately. I just wanted to put the amounts that he asked for into perspective um, because it actually wasn't that excessive. When when the buffs went out, I leveled... I had Choir Boy and Hermes. I got Hermes from about mid-3 to max-4. And I got Choir Boy from like mid-2 to mid-4. And I ran out. And that cost 30,000 coins. I ran completely out of silver mats. I had over 500 mystic silver mats. And I had over 200 gold mats. So he didn't even ask for enough to level up two epics. Yeah, I, mean, I was already, true. I was already part way there. True. I mean, but, uh... it, it gets really expensive for especially epics, which I find weird because, and correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't there an update that made it so that it's supposed to cost less for you to upgrade epics past level three or four or something like that? Yeah, I remember that happening. By the time yeah, that happened for me, it. yeah, I was already, I had already leveled an HHC past there. Right. But those epics, I should have gotten the benefit there. And it was still, I mean, that was 500 silver and 200 golds gone along with 30,000 coins and I was already part way there for both cards but, but yeah the same thing was my situation too was because I uh, I had mystic uh, materials that was the only theme that I had materials saved up for right now because I'm about to get Friar Jimmy to 6 here in a couple of days and I blew all of them yesterday and all my like about it was about 25,000 coins Doing the same thing with those two assassins, but I uh, yeah I got Butters to max three and Hermes to like he still needs like ten more upgrades on four, so I can't imagine how much that's going to cost. And then I still have to get Butters to max level four as well. Yeah, I know that struggle. I currently have Choir Boy Butters maxed at three, with enough to get him to level four, but my mats are starting to run hella low, and I have Hermes Kenny at yeah. level two. Haven't even gotten him to level three yet. But they're still better than the level six assassins at where they're at. I have yet to see that in action. <laughs> oh, it's true. I mean, yeah. I so I D ranked down to like fifteen hundred, and I'm still getting my ass kicked at least every other game by Mystic players running Hermes Kennedy and Quarabor Butters because they just wreck shit and. Just for the record, that's not like hating mis mystical. I'm just saying. I mean, it's true. It's true. Like I'm getting my ass handed to me by by mystic players who are running the new like I guess you could call it mystic meta. I mean, it they hurt, and and I can't trade. Like it's a really bad feeling, man. When I put out my level six capped Ike and I can't trade with a level four assassin, I'm like this fucking sucks. Even with power assist, still can't kill it. Still end up dying. It's yeah. horrible. I want to run this by by you guys because I kind of noticed it, but I wasn't sure if it was just a me thing or whatever. But have you realized that the quality, the card quality of players as a whole versus the level of the new kid has changed dramatically? Like before you could easily think, oh, I'm going up, I got matched up against a level 16 or a level 15, 15 to 17 player. I can I can curb stomp this this person relatively easy. Nowadays, all of a sudden, level 15, 16, 17 people have level six commons, level level f uh, level five rares and shit. And it's like, why are you fighting back so hard? What the hell happened? Well, I'll say before this update, yes. After it's the complete opposite. Um, now I see someone like level sixteen or seventeen. I'm excited because then I feel I will curb stomp them. Where uh, today on my alt, uh, I kept running into level 20 after level 20 or higher. And immediately I'm like, well, 
they at least have one or two level four epics, so I already might as well quit because I only have level five commons. And that was a really shitty feeling that I used to be able to beat these players in really close games. And now it's like I have to triple cast for a lot of those uh, cards that they have now. Yeah, and I mean, it makes sense not... that it's reversed. <laughs> It makes sense that it's reversed now because the reason they're such a low level new kid with just the same or higher level cards as you means that they've probably, I mean, for a lot of us who have played since launch, we didn't know what cards to level right away. I mean, if you weren't like watching streams or looking stuff up, you were just leveling random shit. So you ended up, you know, so, so you ended up having a higher level new kid because you were leveling a lot more and then you finally settled on your deck and leveled it. But people who are just starting out have plenty of resources to figure out and put everything into their one deck. So they're going to get high level cards in the one deck that they're playing, but they're not getting the extra experience into their new kid. So, but now that meta is ruined, the commons. So yeah, what Irish said makes sense. They're, I mean... They're not going to have those other cards in the epics leveled, so yeah. Guys, I feel like they're on like their second or third account, anyways. So they knew how to play. They're not like us. I like again, you you started on release. I started on release. I started in November. So like I didn't know what the hell to do. I joined a clan. I couldn't get my card requests done. We you know like. There was no such thing as events or whatever, like nothing, none of that was available. So um, I feel like a lot of the people now, they're just making new, I, a lot of them have to be Smurfs. I don't know like what kind of percentage, but a shit ton of them has to be Smurf. And even if they aren't Smurfs still with the events that are available, the challenges that are available, and just the, the information that's available on the internet in general. Back in my Remember, day, December, I had to level cards one by one. I had no help from a clan. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't either. Yeah, I, I didn't start. I, I mean, didn't start it, it, it still depends too, because my my adventure uh, count that I started two months ago is just now. It's just level twelve, and so yeah, with that Smurf, like we've been playing a long time, and now we're doing our Smurf account mentality. I know the cards level and stuff like that, and I'm still, like, I have, I just got my second and third level five common, and I have one level five rare. So it still comes down to, like, I, uh, epics aren't even close to anything other than three. And, uh, and this is an adventure lock account where that's all you get is those kind of cards. So, like, I've ran into... And Silver Shield, I've ran into a level 14 person who their entire deck was level 4 epics or level 2 or higher legendaries. And so it's still, you can focus on the right cards, but if you're not spending money, it's going to show the difference there too. Totally agree. Sure, I, I have sure the same not spending money on my third account. <laughs> I have the same problem with my auto account. Like, even though I know what I should be doing, and I started out making this second account to try and focus on learning how to play sci-fi, so I don't suck going up against it. And like, I still have level four cards in my shit. Like, I have level fives, but they're not even maxed, and I don't know how these people do it. And I'm just like in awe and amazement as to how these people progress that far. At that low level and shit, it, it, it just amazes me. Yeah, I'm the same way. That, like, I have the card capacity to upgrade my entire deck a lot. But I don't have any, any materials to get any upgrades at all. I don't know how to do that. Well, same here. Like, I, I have cards that I'm like, oh, man, this shit is tier one. It's meta. But I don't, I rip no materials, no, nothing. I can't do anything. The game is over for me until I grind. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and finishing off this Reddit post thing, his third point was allow players to request epic cards at one card per request. This would allow even free-to-play players to get their epics up to level 4 fairly quick, 15 days from scratch, and would also allow players to take their epics from 4 to 5 with about 30 days of request. What do you guys think about epics becoming a thing you can request? Perfect. We I already think, wanted it before this happened. Yeah, I they, think that they they agreed they wanted it as well. 
I think that really if to, to, to keep people happy, that should that feature should have come out alongside this update. Not like yeah. this yeah, update definitely. and then, you know, somewhere down the line you'll be able to request epic. It should have come hand in hand. But that sounds like a fair amount of time too, because that's about how much you look at for like a level six common or a level five rare. Um is about a month's time or whatever. So one a day to get a three to a four doesn't seem too bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, it's just, I just don't know where. Are Sorry, they yeah. So it's <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, sure, it should have happened, but once again, it just comes right back down to the money. You know, like they know people spend money on on packs. They know people are spending cash left and right. They're like the Benjamins going out, and that's the way they get epic. So why would they do that if it would mean, honestly, hundreds and hundreds, maybe? you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars that they lose because people are less inclined to spend that money to get that epic that they really need. I don't, I don't know. Because like, people... I feel like people spending money do yeah. anyways. Yeah. Well, fuck, I know when SCNW was close to getting his level six in, he's, he spent quite a bit of money refreshing packs for like an entire day or so just to get some copies of Zen, hopefully to show up in his locker. Like, he can request those, but he was impatient and wanted to get them all right away. Zen, not epics. We're talking epics, right? Zen. I'm just saying in general, though. Like that's something he could have requested, but or materials or something like that. But either way, like when they want to, when they're going to spend money, they're going to spend money. And if you're keeping your community happy, people that don't normally spend money is also going to spend money. They probably are looking at how much this. This uh, changes the metrics on their their daily deals. Yeah. That's uh, probably a lot, and that's what sucks. Yeah, because people are pissed, but you still want to be competitive. <laughs> yeah, so you'll have people buying the four hundred cash epics and the two thousand cash legendaries that weren't buying them before, and they'll let mm -hmm. it sit like that as long as that's the case, probably before they give epic requests. Yeah. I don't. I yeah, even don't the know. legendaries seem good. Okay, so the, um, like, I just don't, there's not as much supply, though, for epics. So that's what I don't understand as far as, like, how, where are they going to come from? Do you have to have whales supporting your stream to fill these epic requests? I mean, supporting your team? All right, does make the teamwork. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I'm. I don't know. I can imagine. You know, for us on Hella Team Style, we'd have just everyone thirty a rogue. <laughs> yeah, it's thirty rogue token yeah, requests. Yeah, gonna have to figure out a system that, like you have. You got your work cut out for your fearless leader. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, we'll cross that bridge if we ever get a chance to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with that being said, we're going to start looking to wrap things up here. We've been going at it for like uh, almost two hours. So anybody from the stream chat have anything they want to bring up on stream before we start making our closing comments and heading off to go do all our thingy my bobbers? I don't know about you guys. I'm just going to be having a few drinks, celebrating my number one. And... Uh... I don't know. <laughs> that's awesome, Roman. Honestly, that I, that, cool. I'm stoked for you that you're number one. I hope you get those five epics. I was actually streaming it while you guys, you know, you guys were talking in the background. I'm just like, fuck it. I'm going to concentrate so hard on these damn matches. And it just, <laughs> oh my, the last match was scary. As I, I have it, I was streaming, so it's on the VOD, but I'm like listening to Wait, you guys. Wait, you, you were playing while we were podcasting? So, yeah, I got that while we were fucking talking. <laughs> Uh, Roman that's is a man of many awesome. talents. <laughs> Congrats, Roman. That's, I'm giving everyone the bamboos of the nice outfits, not the poison anymore, but I'm going to hit him up with the arrow storm now. So, oh. that, sounds, that sounds so weird. Arrow storm instead of poison? Yeah. yeah. Them epics, man. Them epics. Yeah. Roman, you just got to shorten it. You can just say, Into the storm, let's go. I, I like that. Into the storm. Yeah. <laughs> but but, but that, that might be like lightning storm, though. Uh-oh. 
There's not a card called Lightning Storm. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it might be just the Lightning Storm. Okay. I don't, I don't want people to get confused. <laughs> <laughs> you can say, welcome to the danger zone. <laughs> All right, does any, you guys, does anyone on the stream have questions, you guys? So, Emily, yeah, Emily just brought up something that, that is absolutely correct. Well, at least this, the way it looked on my stream, what you can watch the VOD of, is um, it looked like she just stopped playing at the very end of our challenge it match. Did. Yeah, like my hook hand, Clyde went up, hit her tower. It seemed like she easily could have blocked. She just didn't. And then I hook hand, Clyde got the hit, and I won. She came into my stream and said that on her screen she had already won, so that's why she wasn't playing anything. Oh shit! Yes. yes. And, Holy <laughs> yeah. So I actually, yeah. I was actually there on your stream when it happened, and she messaged me when it happened. Like that is. Yeah, it yeah, looked like she I, just stopped playing. Like she was letting you in or I, something. So who yeah. actually got the victory? I did. I was the one that yeah, counted as right the victory, it. and th that happened a lot throughout this challenge for me i have plenty of plenty of games that went this way where it looks like one person won and then the other person won instead and it yeah. seemed like it was a result of their counter ticking down not being accurately represented on the screen like, like if, if it's like if you both yeah. have five and five and you both like tick down there's no ties the the, the system will literally pick a winner there's no draws like if you, if Where? two people play together at once and they ticked at the same time, somebody's gonna fucking win. Like I just, there's no draws. It just randomly picks whoever. But I I was telling these guys before the stream started that I literally took advantage and exploited this uh, to my advantage uh, right beforehand doing the challenge. I was I had my opponent down to about sixty health or so, and I was about thirty. Um or maybe less. It would have probably been less. But either way, I had a lightning bolt. I hit my opponent. And at the time that I hit my opponent, I had already bled out. But my lightning bolt took him to like 10. And then he bled out, and it gave me the victory. Just because I knew that... I knew that was a possibility, so I went ahead and went for it, and it worked. And Another I got thing the victory it could be is, like, the ping. Like, whoever's yep. ping, like, whoever's internet connection or ping is faster, whoever gets to the whatever server first, not True. just phone the phone. Like, it has to go through a server in order, you know. So, whoever's ping is faster, it could be that as well, which is, that's probably the case. Yeah. True. In that case, I mean, though, we, well, we just gotta cross our fingers yeah. and keep waiting on that that fully server side PvP. So yeah, Emily was Emily saying mine is faster. <laughs> yeah, and I, it's hard to disagree with her just because my internet is generally really no. shitty. I am in a great <laughs> spot right now, actually. But, but normally I mean, like, my internet's pretty bad. But mine was, but hers was the one that had the inaccurate screen. Yeah, Starbucks this time. No, this time actually it's 24 hour fitness. It's great because I shower here and sometimes I even work out. So. But it, it depends on like how close you are to like their main server. Like, are you, where's where their main server? Anyone know? Probably Helsinki. Yeah, I'm thinking probably Helsinki. Oh, Brian, you're where? I'm in California, California. Redwood City. Oh, so. I don't even know where Emily is. So I'm assuming somewhere out. else in America. I think like anywhere in America would be closer than I am. I'm on the West Coast. Probably. She's in the land of uh, alcohol and uh, and uh, <laughs> Troy. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, that more or less covers everything that we wanted to talk about for today's pseudo podcast, pseudo community talk about South Park Phone Fair. So, uh, Feel free to plug from left to right on my screen. Hello, Brian, Gamer Chick, Irish, Roman, start with it. Hello, and say your goodbyes. All right. See you later, everybody. You know where to find me, twitch.tv slash Brian. We'll be doing the event all week, or all weekend, rather. Um, and I'll see you guys there. Yeah, um, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Um, wait, tomorrow's not Saturday. I'll be streaming Saturday. Um, at 8 p.m. Central, I'll be doing the event. That's the plan, at least. Uh, it was great hanging out with you guys. Thanks for hosting, Ghost. All right, you can find me as well on Twitch uh, TV slash Irishman JMO. 
And I like to leave everyone a mystery on when I'm going to stream again. It makes it more exciting. Uh, first of all, I want to say thanks uh, to the ghost who walks, my boy, uh, doing this podcast, letting us come on and talk about what's going on with the changes and, and you know, whatnot. Um, you guys can catch me on twitch.tv slash Roman Edge, the double E. I hit everybody with the nice outfits and the bamboozles at least six days a week. And I'm number one in the challenge mode. Woo! 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 Congrats, Roman. In memory of Let's average go, guy. Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> I was just Yo, man, I, that guy. <laughs> vacation somewhere. I told him we were podcasting, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a little, a little jelly. But it's all good. Shout out, shout out, the long time OG average guy. But that's gonna be it for us today here on the stream. Signing off, your friendly neighborhood gamer Zago coming, aka the Ghost Who Walks. Uh, handing it over, we're going to be hosting your boy Glenzer, and he's currently on streaming. Uh, so we're going to go show him some love. So thanks much to everyone. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hopefully we provided an enjoyable and entertaining streaming experience for you guys. And this is me signing off, telling you as always, until next time, fun gaming. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like all our videos. Right on, guys. Do go GG. check us out on that Facebook. That was a lot of fun. I can't believe we burned two hours. That's, that's insane. Follow us on that's Twitter cool. at Mr. Underscore Gamehead. And as always, keep on gaming. Visit our game review blog at www.zalgocomet.blogspot.com. See you guys later.